All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Los Angeles Lakers Daily. If you guys like daily Lakers content and you enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. So we're going to talk about Malik Monk today. Um, the Lakers, uh, they need to resign Malik. I mean, let's be real here. The Lakers need to figure out a way to get Malik Monk back in L.A. Like he, not even just like obviously his game. He we'll talk about his stats here in just a second. But like just his demeanor, just his vibe. It's so L.A. It is so Lakers. It's just so Los Angeles Lakers. Like I, I can't even explain how just the demeanor, the vibe, the aesthetic. It's so Los Angeles Lakers. So Malik Monk, one of the like actual steals of the offseason keep in mind this guy's on a minimum contract like there were apparently only a handful of teams including the lakers that even were interested in malik monk so after signing with the lakers on a one-year veteran minimum deal malik monk hopes to make la his long-term home he said quote unquote i'd love to play here man this year he has attempted 7.23s as a starter per game draining him at a 42 percent clip he plays hard he hustles now the bad news is the lakers are going to struggle to re-sign malik monk adrian wojanaski woj basically here's what he had to say you look back and it's insane he was a minimum player but you've seen him increase his value they won't be able to afford to keep him most likely not contract I mean, it, it's just someone's going to offer him some money this year. The difference is last summer, three teams called the Lakers, Mavericks, and Knicks. This summer, you would imagine not only based on how much money you'll, that there will be out there in the market, but just the way he was able to perform this year, there will probably be a lot more offers. So the Lakers have a lot of issues here. In my dream scenario, the Lakers do a trade with like, I don't know, a team like the New York Knicks. Like, it would be cool if the Knicks were just like, all right, Derrick Rose was hurt all year. Kemba Walker did not work out. Both of those guys are on relatively solid contracts anyway. So, you know what? Let's trade for Russell Westbrook. Let's trade for Russell Westbrook. And the reason I bring up the Knicks is because they're below the salary cap. They have quite a bit of room still open in their salary cap. So, if you have a team like the Knicks, just say, all right, we're not going back to mediocrity. We have Julius Randle. We have RJ Barrett. Who knows how long these guys want to stay here. Let's go out. Let's trade for Russell Westbrook. And let's give them like pretty much nothing in return. Lakers, accept that trade. You save some money in your cap. That's where you can go out. You can re-sign guys like Malik Monk. I know it's a long shot, but like it's something like that that I'm really hoping happens this offseason, you know, just a team that has the cap space is like, let's make a trade for Russell Westbrook. Let's take him off the Lakers hand. Maybe we'll give like a future second round pick, see if the Lakers bite. Lakers get a pick like that or a trade offer like that where they're not bringing in any ridiculous contracts and they're like, hell to the yes. So drop a comment down below on Malik Monk. Would you like the Lake Show to re-sign him or do you want to see him walk? Peace.